Welcome! The point of this video is to show you how to find a common denominator and the least common denominator so you can get your schoolwork done. We will look at three different examples. So let's go! So we have three fractions, two-thirds, one-half and four-sevenths. Our denominators are three, two and seven. To find a common denominator, common denominator, you are going to just multiply your denominators. 3 times 2 times 7, and it's going to be 42. Next, find the least common denominator. Let's look at our denominators. We have 3, 2, and 7. Our denominators are prime numbers. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so forth. A prime number, for example, 3, is a number that is divisible by itself and one only. For example, 7. 7 is divisible by itself and one only. For example, you don't see 4 as a prime number because 4 is divisible by 2, by, by itself and 1. So it has three divisors. So, when your denominators are prime numbers, we have 3, 2, and 7. They are prime numbers. To find the least common denominator, you will just multiply your denominators. So when your denominators are all prime numbers, just multiply them to find the least common denominator. And you will have 3 times 2 times 7. It will be also 42. So you see common denominator and the least common denominator, they matched. Okay, let's look at another example. We have these fractions, 3 fifths, 1 half, and 3 fourths. So, to find a common denominator, common denominator, we are going just to multiply them. So, just multiply your denominators. 5 times 2 times 4. 5 times 2 times 4. 5 times 2 is 10, times 4 is 40. So, Let's now find the least common denominator. So, least common denominator. To do that, we are going to break down each denominator into prime numbers. So, our first denominator is 5. It is already a prime number. There is nothing to break it down to. 2 is also a prime number. The denominator 4, we can break it down into 2 times 2. So, we wrote the denominator 4 as 2 times 2, prime numbers. Now, to find the least common denominator, we are going to multiply our prime numbers. But this is how. Let's start with 5. 5 shows up once as a prime number. Yes? So, we will bring it down to LCD. Now, let's look at 2. 2 is our denominator and it's also a prime number. 2 shows up in 2 once, right? But the prime factor 2 shows up in 4 twice. So the maximum number of times 2 shows up in any one denominator is 2 times. So bring it down to LCD. So 2 times 2. You do not pick up these two. You do not write down three twos here because you need to circle the greatest occurrence of 2 in any one denominator. So it's 2 times 2. So our least common denominator will be 5 times 2 times 2, which is 20. You see, our least common denominator is smaller than a common denominator. Very good. Let's look at another example. In this example, we have slightly larger denominators, 18, 10, and 15. So, to find a common denominator, common denominator, we can just multiply our denominators. 18 times 10 times 15. So, the answer will be 2,700. That's a large denominator, right? So, if we are adding fractions or subtracting fractions, we can find another common denominator another common denominator that can also work. For example, we can multiply next, um, next to each other denominators. For example, 18 times 10. 18 times 10 is 180. 
And 180 is divisible by 15. Because 18 times 10 is 180. You are just wondering, will 180 be divisible by 15? And it is. 180 divided by 15 is 12. So a common denominator 180 will also work. What else can we try? We can try 18 times 15. So common denominator 18 times 15 will be 270. And 270 is divisible by 10. So 270 divided by 10 is 27. So these are just examples of common denominators that you can try. So like this. Very good. Now let's find the least common denominator. So now let's find the least common denominator. So LCD. Now, to find the least common denominator, we are going to break down each denominator into prime numbers. So we have 18. 18 we can write as 2 times 9. 2 is a prime number, 9 is not. So let's keep working on 9. So we can write 9 as 3 times 3. Now we wrote 18 as a product. Product means multiplication as a product of prime numbers. Next number is 10. We can write as 2 times 5. 2 and 5 are prime numbers. 15. 15 we can write as 3 times 5. So we wrote our denominators as prime numbers. Now let's find the least common denominator. What you're going to do, you're going to multiply your prime numbers. But this is how. Let's start with 2. 2 shows up in 18 once. 2 shows up in 10 once. The maximum number of times 2 shows up in any one denominator is one time. So circle, for example, 2 in 18 and bring it down to multiply here in LCD. The next number is 3. 3 shows up in 18 two times. 3 shows up in 15 once. The maximum number of times 3 shows up in any one denominator is 2 times. So circle 3 times 3 and bring it to, uh, to multiply and find LCD. Okay, the next number is 5. 5 shows up in 10 once. 5 shows up in 15 once. So we can circle either of them. And the maximum number of times 5 shows up in any denominator is once. So our LCD is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. When you multiply, you will get 90. So our least common denominator for these three fractions is 90. You see, it's uh, smaller than our common denominators. But if you are adding these three fractions or subtracting, you can go with any common denominator. But the point of this video is to show you how to find the common denominator and the least common denominator so you can get your homework done. Is this video helpful? Smash the like button and consider subscribing and keep up the good work.